Welcome to Tony's Bonsai. I've got a Yamadori Silver Birch collected around 18 months ago. It's growing crazy and wild, so I need to cut it back and do some summer pruning on it. So let's get stuck in. The base of this tree isn't perfect. It's because of this sort of branch that comes out here, it's got a bit of inverse taper, which is not ideal, but I love the character of it. These have all come out this year. So these are all this year's shoots. I've applied some wire to it in the past, but it's time to sort of trim this back. I've done a chop here in the past and removed the main, the main leader and allowed this side branch to come across. It's thickened up quite nicely and I've allowed this to extend. It's really extended a long way, but I don't want it to go too thick. So I think I need to cut this back and my options are probably somewhere around here. So I'll start off just taking the top off. I misjudged my camera angle a bit there, but I cut it off up here, but that was only a rough chop and that's not where I want my chop to be. It's going to be a bit further down. So I need to choose one of these branches a bit lower down. Having said which, this branch does actually come out quite nicely. So I'm tempted to leave it and just chop it back like that my problem with this tree is there's nothing happening all the way up here until I get to this top section and it's just all a bit bare so I'm going to go with what I initially thought which was removing it a bit lower down and I think I'm going to cut it at this point and allow this to be the new leader so just peering through here, this is the branch I like as the apex and I'll just cut off. As you can see in this view, as well as those structural cuts, these main branches, they're just too long and they need taking back to something a bit more reasonable. So I'm just cutting these back to really to the first two pair of leaves and hopefully I'll get some new branches growing from that point. There's really nothing complicated about this. I'm going to leave these suckers for the time being and just focus on these more structural branches. I'll remove some of those yellow leaves. And yeah, interesting. I've got some nice buds in at the base, which are uh, looking good. So I'm going to cut back to those. Now I will leave the main leader that will stay, I won't prune that because obviously I want that to develop nicely and I want this wound to heal up. So I won't cut that. Now what to do with these suckers. So that I can see what's going on. There's a yellow leaf there that can go. And at the base of each of these stalks, there's a small bud that can turn into a new branch. And I've got quite a few of them down here. So, All I'll do is remove them above one of these buds. And each of these now will grow its own branches and develop some branch structure a bit tighter in, which I think will look better. Although the pruning's now done on this, I wanted to just zoom in to show you these buds up here that are formed where the leaves were and they're all going to turn into new branches. 
I'm just applying some cut paste now to the main chop site just to help it to heal and as you can see it's a fairly substantial um, redesign that I've done or I don't know if redesign is the right word just while I'm at it I'm just going to reapply some more cut paste around this major chop site from last year just to help that kind of stay moist and hopefully callous over better but yeah you know I've taken a lot of the leaves off there and what I'm hoping now is in the next month all these buds shoot out and it puts out like a second flush of growth which will sort of stop it being so leggy you know I want it much more compact and this is the one of the ways you go about it so I'm quite pleased with that hopefully it lives <laughs> what I've got here is my favorite silver birch it's in a drawer it's too heavy for me to move but it needs a prune um, I cut this back when did I cut this back perhaps a month or so ago and it's already shot loads of secondary growth out and I just need to cut some of this back again it's nothing too technical I'm just taking some of the length really um, of these branches off trying to develop the ramification as I go that's kind of the idea of it so I'm cutting it I'm cutting it in places where it'll divide send out new growth and really in the long term I'd love it to have that fine twiggy that look of a large tree you know but in miniaturization which that's what we're going for in bonsai and one of the ways we achieve that is by pruning our trees back like this part of the key to this is being fairly brave a bit like when you're cutting maples you know you've got to you've got to take them back if you don't they just keep growing and growing leggier and leggier and eventually you've got to cut them right back like I did just with that other tree that had been left too long really I'm not making that mistake with this tree I'm just kind of working my way around looking for it look this is a super long branch here it's way too long just chop it off I'm not sure if you can propagate silver birch from cuttings but I've got plenty to be honest I've got loads of these collected trees so I, d I don't need any more this is ever since I collected this tree it's been super healthy I planted it in in this drawer because it was the only thing I had big enough to take the root mass that it came with. I collected as when I collect Yamadori, I try to get as many roots as I possibly can. And then I don't go too mad cutting them back when I pop them on because my experience is when I do that, they don't make it. And this one's grown on really healthily. I'm removing I'm removing tons of length off these branches, just chopping away. This is one of the jobs I kind of think, should I even bother filming this? It might be a bit boring. But you know, I know there's people like to like to watch this stuff hearing me wittering on 
<laughs> That's really taking shape now that. Unfortunately, as I say, I can't really show you and rotate it on a turntable or anything like that because it's just too heavy. If my brother was round, we could move it between us, but I just can't leave this any longer. I don't want to leave this even another week because it's getting out of control and I want us to kind of compact it down because of all my trees this is the one that I think is developing the best I'll move the camera around so you can see what I'm doing on this section so kind of from above you can see this long branch is coming up here all the way out here and I'll just cut it right back in there this one it's coming up it sent out another branch there so it's divided I've cut it there in the past, so I'll cut it there. This has been cut and is divided into two. It's then divided again. So there's lots of good ramification developing here. I'll cut it there. And there. So I'm beginning to develop some proper structure in that there. That's looking good. Again, this one is the same. This is beginning to develop as... I draw short of calling them pads because I, I don't like the idea of a pad personally I, I think they often look weird in bonsai when people have these big separated pads all through a tree I, I just think it's kind of strange but that's kind of what I'm developing there I suppose and I'm happy with that from this angle now, you can see the canopy and the kind of overall shape that I'm trying to develop. And I did notice there's a couple of suckers growing at the bottom, which I want to get rid of. They're not part of the design. So I may as well remove those. And you can see, you can see this lovely, oh, let me get that, come on. There we go. You can see this lovely wide base at the, that goes tapers up really nicely. It's got a large wound here, but that's healing over and then it tapers and carries on. So this is one of my favorite trees and I'm really happy with how this is developing. And I'll look forward to showing you this in the winter when you can see the full sort of shape of it without its leaves I was going to call it a day with that last tree but then I remembered this one that I'd completely forgotten about I probably probably forgotten about it because I only collected this um, in February or March time and I wouldn't normally be working on a tree the same year that I collect it if you're wondering what I'm doing I'm just pulling out some weeds and I think this is a wild strawberry <laughs> that's a crazy one um, yeah so I wouldn't normally work on a tree the year that it's collected but there's a few dead branches that want taking off and I think I am going to just bring it back uh, I didn't actually intentionally collect this tree this came out with the large hazel of mine and when I got it out I thought no, it's actually got some really nice character that and I'm really glad I uh, collected it so I'll give you a closer look it hasn't got that beautiful white bark but it's got some wonderful shape to it coming up and it kind of goes up into these three sort of separate trunks from here uh, and I quite like it how I'm going to design it from this point I'm not sure it's almost a bit of a broom style so in many ways this does have that classic kind of beach that beach style of the sort of slender trunks going up to a, a canopy and I want to I want to keep that because I do like that the naturalness of this tree and just cutting off the few a few of the dead branches first of all just so that I can get a bit more of an idea of what needs to stay and what needs to go I've said in the past, the thing with birch is, you know, branches just die. 
that's the nature of this species and I think it's one of the reasons a lot of people don't like them as bonsai. They're not, they're not a predictable tree and if you can't accept the fact that one day you turn around and a branch is just dead then it's not the species for you but I love it because it's so elegant. I just think it's a graceful tree and definitely one of my favourite fe trees to photograph. I'm going to, in a future episode, I'm going to be going out to some of my favourite places with my camera and photographing some of my favourite trees out in nature, which I think might be quite interesting. Hopefully people will kind of enjoy, enjoy the way that I kind of capture trees with my camera, but that's for a future episode. For now, all I'm going to do is just take the top off so i'm not i'm not going crazy on it i don't want to reduce it right down but i definitely just want to take some of the height out of it just to start creating a bit of shape it's a really healthy tree this so i'm not bothered about doing it even though it's only in its first year since being collected. And I'm just taking it down and kind of developing that that birch birch like shape. And I think that's it. I'm I'm not going to go mad. I'm really trying hard to say that to myself. Don't go crazy with this. Because although there's not been much of an effort put into this tree yet, it's already one that I, I really enjoy. There's something about it that I think it could become one of my favorite trees. Yeah, and that'll do for the time being. I'm really going to be disciplined with myself and not go mad. I've got a few of the beech trees that need pruning, but the sky's turned black and I think it's going to absolutely dump it down. So I'm going to get out of here. If you want to follow the progress of my trees, please hit subscribe. But as always, thanks for joining me. Have a great day.